Asian needle ants. The Asian needle ant. Asian needle ants. If you've been watching the news, you may have heard about the Asian needle ant, an invasive species with a nasty sting. You get stung by an Asian needle ant, you feel it? Urban entomologist Dan Suter has firsthand experience with the Asian needle ant. I'll be working in the garden, and I'm like, ow, that hurt. And I know what happened. The, the pain from an Asian needle is kind of weird. It doesn't hurt as bad as a fire ant sting. But for me, the pain kind of ramps up. It hurts, it'll go away, and it comes back two hours later. This, is, this happens with people. Pain will come back. Uh, it's documented published cases of, of the pain coming back two hours or a couple hours later. So it's, uh, it's kind of an oddity from that perspective. And for some people, the needle ant sting can be much, much worse. There are a certain number of people, a certain percentage of the population, that if they're stung by this ant, the ant injects a venom, and people can react adversely, wind up in the hospital with anaphylaxis. According to the Mayo Clinic, anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that causes the immune system to release a flood of chemicals that can cause you to go into shock. If untreated, it can be fatal. What appears to be a generally high level of number of people who have told me that they've been stung by this ant and wound up in trouble. I've got three emails in my inbox right now from people who have been stung. One woman, uh, Monday of this week, was stung and spent the night in the hospital. Came home, everything was okay. But, uh, I, you know, I've, I've, I've interacted with some, uh, several people who have told me it was touch and go for a couple days. So where can you find or avoid Asian needle ants? The good thing about this ant is it does not come inside. So whereas some of our nuisance ants, Argentine ants, crazy ants, will come inside feeding on dog food and cat food, things of that sort, this ant stays outside and it's, it, you're going to find it in, in areas that are characterized by kind of uh, hardwood habitat. Oak trees, white oaks, things of that sort with uh, lots of leaf litter, very little understory. You know, that describes most of the southeast and most of the east coast. Souter says the species has been in the United States for about a century and that there are no data proving that Asian needle ants are actually spreading. But if you see ants near your home that you think might be needle ants, he has some suggestions. Yeah, you should get it identified, especially if there's somebody, you or somebody in your family that you know suffers from anaphylaxis, carries an EpiPen or something of that sort. You, sh you should know that the critter is on your property and the best way to get that identified is through your county extension agent. So, Collect a couple ants, put them in a baggie with some rubbing alcohol or, or uh, and send them to the county agent. The more you know, the less likely you are to have an unpleasant encounter with an Asian needle ant. They're just doing their thing, they're ants, and they're just living their daily lives and being ants. But the thing about the Asian needle ant is it, it, it ramps up a little bit from the pest status in that we think it's important, medically important pest. The little critters, you have to pay attention to the little critters too. This is Inside Edition Digital.